Hi, I'm Chris from Pyro Digital and in this video I would like to show you how to use our edit mode. The data table is a versatile mode in our field controller. You can edit, load, send and select different scripts as well as the device setup. To edit a script, please press edit in the data table mode. In here, each line represents one pyrotechnic event and basically a script table is just a set of instructions to tell the field controller what to fire. Its interpretation is up to the fire mode that is used, so the script is either created for auto-firing mode or for manual fire mode. A pyrotechnic event is defined by its shot number, the show time, the pre-fire time and the address. You can also assign a caliper group or hazard lockout. The line number is just the index number of the script table. It's any number between 0 and 2500. The shot number is just for labeling. It does not affect your firing at all. Then you have the show time, which tells the field controller when the effect will be seen. Sometimes it can be the same as the fire time, but in most cases you have to fire earlier. So, for example, if you want to fire a shell, you have to fire it earlier in order to have enough time to let it rise in the sky and unfold its bouquet. Therefore, we have the pre-fire time, which tells the field controller when exactly to fire in order to see the effect in the show time. The firing address defines the image in the network that shall be fired. It is always a three-digit hexadecimal number the first two digits are the firing module and the last digit is the clamp of the corresponding module. The caliper group is an optional field that allows you to control fire permission for a group of script lines during a running show. You can for each line assign a caliper group on the left side here just by pressing one of the buttons. You can use it in manual firing mode, for example, to divide a show into different scenes or to divide it into different songs. You can also use it in auto firing mode, but then it will be a hazard lockout. If you're getting confused right now about the hazard lockout and the caliper group, please don't worry, I will talk about that in a corresponding video. In manual fire mode, by using caliper groups, you can split up one table into 16 scenes. With the new subscript option that will be explained in another video, you can now also split up one auto fire table in 16 subscripts per table. So you can use 16 times 4, so 64 subscripts in total. Below this line, the display shows a command line for editing. You can edit each of the parameters manually just by pressing the left and the right arrow, you can navigate through the parameters and choose a value up in here. Press enter to confirm and to save. If you enter any invalid value, you will hear a beeping sound, for example, like that. And the display will clear itself. Now you can re-enter a valid value. Use the up and down button to jump one event line per depression. You can also use the home button to jump to the top of your script table or the end button to jump to the end of your script table. You can also search by a specific line by typing in the line number you would like to see and press enter. With the locate key you can locate any script line within your script table. You can search by a parameter that you would like to use by switching with the arrow keys. Then you can type in the value you would like to see. For example, I would like to search for this address. Press enter and it will lead you directly to that script line. You can also use the go to address and the go to short key as a shortcut. With this you will be directly led to the locate display of the specific parameter. To delete or insert a script line, press delete 
or insert. If you want to abort the function, just press up or down to go back to the main menu. Thank you for watching. As always, you can find more information and videos on our website pyrodigital.com. See you in the next episode. Bye!